So what I want to do now is to consider the case of, um, well, consider basically conservation of momentum. Okay? So we mentioned right at the start of the course that the conservation of momentum, which in Newtonian mechanics says that this thing, the sum of mi times vi, is a constant. Okay? If I, again I have two different observers who are observing the same system, according to the Galilean transformation, if one observer measures this thing is a constant, then the second observer will also measure this thing is a constant. Right? But now we know that the Galilean transformation is not correct. We need to ask if the same thing is still true using the Lorentz transformation. So namely, two observers look at some momentum, look at the momentum of a system, and if one observer measures a constant momentum, does the other observer measure a constant momentum or not? Okay? That's the question we want to ask. Okay, so we're going to look at conservation of Newtonian momentum. Newtonian momentum here just means the normal definition that you're used to. So P is equal to mass times velocity. That definition of momentum. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do this by way of an example. And the example is a simple two body collision of the sort that we looked at right at the start of the course. And it goes as follows. So initially I have one mass of mass 2m, which is traveling with a speed half the speed of light, p over 2. And then I have another mass m traveling in the opposite direction with a quarter of the speed of light. Okay? And they collide. Okay? So before the collision, you have this picture here. And then after the collision, the mass of 2m is stationary. And the mass m is moving with a speed three quarters the speed of light. Okay, so that's the collision I want to consider. And watching this collision are two different observers. So I'll take again, as usual, the S observer to be stationary, so he measures these speeds. And I'll take the S prime observer as moving in this direction, also with half the speed of light. So the first question I'm going to ask is, is momentum conserved in S? So does the S observer measure the same value for momentum before and after the collision? Okay. So you just have to calculate. So total momentum before the collision is, so it's mass times velocity, so that's 2m times c over 2 plus m times minus c over 4, okay. which is mc minus a quarter mc, so that's 3 quarters mc. Okay. And then after the collision, p is this, so it's 2m times 0 plus m times 3c over 4, so again, that's 3 quarters mc. Okay, so the momentum before is the same as the momentum afterwards, therefore momentum is conserved. So the answer to that question is yes. Nice and easy. So now we consider the same thing in S prime. Oops. 
Okay. So, in order to do this, we need to calculate the velocities as seen by the S prime observer. Okay. So, just to make things notation easier, I'm going to call this one V1. I'm going to call this one V2. I'm going to call this one V3. And I'm going to call this one V4. Okay. So, we need to use this first transformation formula here for the transformation of velocities. So, u, we've said, is the speed, relative speed between the observers, which is half the speed of light. And then we need to work out what are v1 prime, v2 prime, v3 prime, and so on. Okay, so v1 prime then, that's v1 minus u, so that's c over 2 minus c over 2 divided by some stuff. It doesn't matter because that's zero, right? So this one we didn't really have to calculate, right? If the mass is moving with half the speed of light and the observer is also moving with half the speed of light, then they appear stationary relatively, right? So that one's nice and easy. V2 prime, so V2 is minus c over 4. So I'm going to get minus c over 4 minus c over 2 divided by 1 minus u times 3x over c squared. So that's 1 plus a quarter times a half. Okay, so what's that? That's minus three quarters there. Okay, so minus three quarters divided by, and here I have one plus an eighth, so that's nine eighths times C. So that turns out to be two minus two thirds C. Agree? I sometimes make mistakes, so check I'm right. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, similarly, let's do the other one here. Okay. V3 prime, so V3 is zero, so that's nice and easy then. V3 prime is then just minus C over two. Right, because it's, if V is zero, then this is zero and you just get that one. That's nice and easy. V4 prime, so V4 is 3C over 4, so then I get 3C over 4 plus C, sorry, minus C over 2 divided by 1 minus 3 quarters times a half. So that's a quarter C divided by 1 minus 3 eighths is 5 eighths, so that's 2 fifths. Okay, so if I draw, I'll draw up here the same collision then. So it looks like this. So he sees at first the mass 2m being stationary, v1 is 0, and he sees the mass m going this way with the speed of minus 2 thirds times the speed of light. That's before. This is in S prime. Okay. And afterwards, he sees the mass 2m moving this way with speed minus c over 2. And he sees the mass m moving this way with speed 2 over 5. And that's after. Okay. So that's the collision as viewed by S prime observer. Okay, so now we're in a position to calculate the momentum before and after. Okay, so the momentum before, that's 2m times 0 plus m times minus 2 thirds c. So that's minus 2 thirds mc. And the momentum after, that's 2m times minus c over 2 plus m times 2 fifths c. So that's minus mc plus 2 fifths mc. So that's minus 3 fifths 
and C. Okay, and they are not the same. Okay. So the answer to the question in S prime is no, they are not conserved. Momentum is not conserved. So this means that conservation of Newtonian momentum is a bad law in special relativity. If I have two observers who are looking at the same collision, then one observer thinks it is conserved, the other observer thinks it's not conserved. Okay? But the principle of relativity tells you that the results of the experiment should be the same whether the experiment is stationary or moving with a constant velocity. Right? And the only difference between these two observers is that this one sees the experiment stationary, this one sees the experiment moving with a constant velocity. Right? So if you want to make a law of physics which is true for all observers and which respects the principle of relativity, then you can't have this. You can't have one observer saying yes and the other observer saying no. Both observers must say yes, or both observers must say no. Okay? So the conclusion of all of this is that the law of conservation of momentum, conservation of Newtonian momentum, does not respect the principle of relativity. Okay, and this is a big problem, right? Because the principle of relativity was one of the founding postulates of our theory, right? We started with two ideas. The first, that the speed of light is always measured the same. And the second was this principle of relativity. And the second postulate is incompatible with the law of conservation of Newtonian momentum. Okay? And also incompatible with Newton's other laws as well. You can check that too. Okay? So, what do we do then? Well, you could just say, okay, well, forget about momentum. Okay, okay it doesn't work, forget about it. That's not a good solution. Um, firstly, because we know that momentum is a very useful concept in Newtonian physics, right? So just to throw it away is a big waste. And secondly, we know that for small speeds, it's basically correct, right? We know that at the speeds we, we exist at on, this, on the planet Earth, it's more or less right that Newtonian momentum is conserved, right? So rather than throwing it away, a better approach is to modify it, okay? It's not right, but maybe we can make some changes to it, make some changes to the law of momentum, such that it starts to work, okay? And that's what we're going to do over the next couple of lectures. We're going to develop a new definition of momentum which does respect the principle of relativity. So in other words, we're going to come up with a new definition of momentum such that all observers agree that momentum is conserved. Okay? But it can't simply be mass times velocity. It must be something else.